This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about who made you. Anunnaki? First a few jokes. How does Santa remember all the fireplaces that he visits? He keeps a log. <laughs> and how much did Santa pay for a sleigh? Nothing. It was on the house. <laughs> Once again, I need you to be aware and think for yourselves as you own your own beliefs. Please leave your comments. No matter who you believe in, whether it be God or Jesus, these beings are not human. So from this singular belief, who made you? Anunnaki? Did ETs create the human race? What are six creation of man's stories? What does Anu equals Anunnaki or El, Enlil, Marduk, Ia Enki, Ninhursag, Aruru have to do with this? What does the Anunnaki Jesus have to do with this? Although the Bible is the youngest of these stories, I choose to use these first because you can easily and readily find a copy. We will go from the most recent to the oldest who made you or creation stories of the Anunnaki gods. First, I take you to Genesis 6-4. At that time, the Nephilim or Ajiji synonymously with the Anunnaki gods appeared on earth as well as after the flood. After the sons of heaven had intercourse with the daughters of man who bore them sons, they were the heroes of old, the men of renown. And this relates to the book of Enoch 6, 1 through 2. And it came to pass when the sons of men had, inter had increased, that in those days there were born to them fair and beautiful daughters. And the angels, the Anunnaki sons of heaven, saw them and desired them. And they said to one another at Mount Hermon, Come, let us choose for ourselves wives from the children of men. Let us beget for ourselves children. Next, I take you to Genesis 5.1. This is the record of the descendants of Adam. When God, or Anu, equals the Anunnaki Elohim gods, created man, he made him in the likeness of God. Genesis 3.22, Then the Lord God Enlil said, See, the man has become like one of us. Is this like the Anunnaki gods? Genesis 2.21-22, So the Lord God Ninhursag cast a deep sleep, or in vitro fertilization, with medication, on the man. And while he was asleep, he, Inky, took one of the ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God Ninhursag then built up into a woman the rib that she had taken from the man. Is this DNA genetic laboratories performed by the Anunnaki Elohim gods? Next is Genesis 2.7. The Lord God Inky formed man out of the clay of the ground, or Ki. Ki is Sumerian meaning for the word earth. Hence, we are earthlings. And blew into his nostrils the animation, or soul, or the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Is this genetic DNA sequencing all the way by the Anunnaki? Is this who made you? Genesis one twenty six and 27. Then God Marduk, who is like Anu, said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Genesis one twenty seven. God Marduk, or the king of the gods, from Babylon created man in his image, in the divine image he created him. Male and female, he created them. 
What does Jesus Christ have to do with this? Jesus Christ is a title and not a name. This is found in your Bible in Matthew 1.1, the genealogy of Jesus. Christ means a title called the Greek Christos, which translates to the Hebrew Messiah, which means anointed one. This is applied to anyone that is a representative of God on earth, Jesus, with his own mouth, declares this in John 10.34. It is written in your law, I have said, you are God's. This means you. Please believe this and do not give your powers away. Next, I take you to number two, the myth of Adapa, tablet number one. He possessed intelligence his command is like the command of Anu. He, Ia Inki, pictured here, granted him a wide ear to reveal the destinies of the land. He granted him wisdom, but he did not grant him eternal life. In those days, in those years, the wise man of Aridu, Ia, had created him as chief among men a wise man whose command should be opposed. The prudent, the most wise among the Anunnaki was he, blameless of clean hands, anointed observer of the divine statutes. With the bakers he made bread. With the bakers of Aridu he made bread. The food and water of Aridu he made daily. This is according to Robert Williams Rogers in the book Cuneiform Parallels to the Old Testament. Again, we see that Adapa was the anointed observer and baking the divine manna bread for the Anunnaki gods, a man who should be opposed to the evil ways. He was anointed just like Jesus Christ. Number three, who made you? The Unama Elish, the sixth tablet. When Marduk heard the word of the gods, his heart moved him, and he devised a cunning plan. He opened his mouth, and Ea spoke, or Enki, that which he had conceived in his heart he made known unto him. My blood will I take, and bone will I fashion. I shall make Lulu, whose name shall be man. I shall create man who shall inhabit the earth. Let the worship of the gods be established. Let their shrines be built. But I will transform the ways of the gods, and I shall change their paths. Though they are honored as one, they shall be divided into two. This is also clearly in The Man and His God, the motifs of Job, the biblical Job. Number four, Enki Ninhursag myth, according to Samuel Noah Kramer, book The Sumerians. There is another Enki Ninhursag myth concerned with the creation of man from clay that is over the abyss. The story begins with a description of the difficulties of the gods in the procuring their bread, especially as might have been expected after the female deities came into being. The gods complain, but Enki, who is as the Sumerian god of wisdom, might have been expected to come to their aid, is lying asleep in the deep and fails to hear them. Thereupon his mother, the primeval sea, the mother who gave birth to all the gods, brings tears of the gods before Enki, saying, O oh my son, rise from your bed, from your work, what is wise. Fashion servants of the gods, so they may produce their doubles. Enki gives matter thought, leads forth the host of good and princely fashioners, and says to his mother, Namu, the primeval sea, O oh, my mother, the creature whose name you uttered, it exists. Bind upon it the image of the gods. 
Mix the heart of the clay that is over the abyss. The good and princely fashioners will thicken the clay. You do bring the limbs into existence. Ninma, another name for Ninhursag, will work above you. The goddess of birth will stand by you at your fashioning. O oh, my mother, decree it, the newborn's fate. Ninma will bind upon it the mold of the gods. It is a man. Number five, who made you? The Anunnaki? Epic of Gilgamesh, Tablet 1. This story explains how Gilgamesh, the king of Uruk, or the biblical Uruk, was two-thirds divine, or Anunnaki, and one-third human, and was oppressing his people in his own city, who cried out to the Anunnaki gods. The god Anu responds by creating an equal to Gilgamesh to stop his oppression. And his name is Enkidu. And this is the story in the Epic of Gilgamesh of the Primitive Man. In quotes, Anu speaks, Let them summon Aruru, the Great One. She created the boundless human race. Let her create a partner for Gilgamesh, mighty in strength. Let them contend with each other, that Uruk may have peace. They summon the birth goddess Aruru. You, Aruru, created the boundless human race. Now create what Anu commanded. To his stormy heart, let that one be equal. Let them contend with each other that Uruk may have peace. When Arura heard this, she conceived within her what Anu commanded. Arura wet her hands, she pinched off clay, she tossed it upon the steep. She created valiant Enkidu in the steep. Offspring of potter's clay with the force of the hero Ninurta. Shaggy with hair, was his whole body. He was made lush with head hair like a woman. The locks of his hair grew thick as a grain field. He knew neither people nor inhabited land. He dressed as animals do. He fed on grass with gazelles. With beasts he jostled at the water hole. With wildlife he drank his fill of water. Next, I take you to the Atrahasis Epic Tablet 1, translation by Stephanie Daly. Farsighted Enki and wise Mammy went into the room of fate. The womb goddess was assembled. He trod the clay in her presence. She kept reciting an incarnation, for Enki, staying in her presence, made her recite it. When she had finished her incarnation, she pinched off fourteen pieces of clay and sat seven pieces on the right, seven on the left. Between them she put down a mud brick. She made use of a reed, opened it to cut the umbilical cord, called up the wise and knowledgeable womb goddess seven and seven, seven created males, seven created females. For the womb goddess is the creator of fate. He, them two by two, them two by two in her presence. Mammy made these rules for people. Is this DNA genetic sequencing and the creation of mankind by the Anunnaki gods? The truth is, that we are probably all the people of Anu and made in the image of the big G or King Anu. And Jesus the Christ means that God Anu is with us, found in Isaiah 7.14. Therefore the Lord himself will give him and you this sign. The virgin shall be 
with his child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, equal to I am Anu El. The Anunnaki gods, or I am Anu, son of God. Thank you so much. And always remember that you are and I am a spirit of God and peace and love to you.